What's up everybody and welcome to my bedroom. In this video, I'm gonna give you the secret to waking up consistently at 5 a.m. every single day. Now, whether you want it to be 4 a.m. or 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., either way, these tricks are gonna help you get up super early and really just have a better day in general. But before we get started, I have a couple of questions for you and I want you to drop the answers in the comments. What time do you wake up right now? What time do you wish that you woke up? And is there any tricks that you currently use to make yourself get up at that time? With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let me ask you, what really makes a good doctor? If you're not happy, how are you supposed to help your patients? The first thing that I think you need to know about waking up early is that nobody likes to do it. There's no such thing as a morning person. I'm not a morning person. Bill Gates isn't a morning person. LeBron James isn't a morning person. So how do these people consistently wake up at 5 a.m. every day, go to the gym, eat a nutritious breakfast, go about a very extensive morning ritual, and then show up to practice, show up to work with a better attitude, and bigger smile on their face than everybody else. Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly how. Now before we start talking about the tricks to waking up super early, you're never gonna be able to pull this off if you can't sleep at a reasonable time and get good sleep. So the number one thing that I think we need to talk about is the foundation of sleep hygiene. And you've probably heard that before, and maybe you're not gonna learn anything new right now, but I really wanna emphasize the importance of a consistent schedule. During the week, I am in bed by 10 p.m. every single night, and my alarm is set automatically to go on do not disturb at a set time, and then wake me up at a certain time every single day of the week. And this keeps a lot of consistency and really allows me to continue my daily routine normally. And eventually, you start waking up right before your alarm. Alarm. Wake up at like 4.45, like what is going on? And then all your alarms start going off, you're like, okay, I know what happened. So if you're a bad sleeper, you're just not gonna be able to wake up early. If you're going to bed at 2, 3 a.m., then waking up at 5, 6 a.m. is not gonna be for you. First, you need to fix your sleep. And the way to do that is to cut out all of the things that are keeping you from getting to sleep at a reasonable hour. If you have roommates, this is especially hard because they might not be trying to achieve the same things that you are. They might be watching TV, you know, laughing until 1, 2 a.m. in the morning. And for those people, earplugs and move. I, have no, I got nothing better to share with you. However, if you are in my current situation, you're living alone or you're living with people who are on the same routine as you, here's how to get to bed super early. They've done studies on this and that's my doggy in the background. When there's a phone nearby, your brain lights up. And when that phone goes off, it lights up more than you can imagine. So if you have that thing by your bed and it's vibrating, or even the chance that it's gonna vibrate, you're not gonna be able to calm your mind to sleep. It's just one thing that's gonna keep you super distracted. So my suggestion to you is there's a function on these things to put it on do not disturb at the same time every night of the week. And once you do that, plug it into the bathroom. This thing goes in my bathroom at 9 p.m. every night and it stays there on do not disturb. And if you don't hear from me after that, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's I'm busy with my wind down routine, so very important. Some other tricks that I use to wind down at the end of the night, clear my head and get ready for bed, is a long shower or even a long bath. The bath thought was very new and foreign to me up until last year, but try it. If you have access to a bathtub, pour some apple cider vinegar in that bad boy, pour some bath salts, lay there for 20 minutes with some relaxing music. It never felt so good, try it. So the next thing, and there's a lot of back and forth talk, most people would recommend meditation in the morning. Now, if you're not a meditator in general, maybe this isn't gonna to apply to you, but I love to do my meditation at night, and this is gonna be you know, against a lot of popular recommendation. Everyone's like, yeah, wake up, do it in the morning, clear your head, get ready for a good day. Meditation makes me tired, so why not apply that to my night routine? And it's, I've already got a whole day of congested head that I need to you know, get rid of, focus it, and clear it all away. So I meditate at night, right before bed, and the best part about that is I use my Headspace app, but I don't need my phone to do that. My Alexa does everything for me in the morning, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, but it also activates my Headspace. She heard me. So before we start talking about morning hacks, I wanna leave you with a couple final very important warnings for going to sleep the night before. The first warning and the biggest one that's gonna have the biggest impact on your sleep is locking your phone in your bathroom. Do it, put it on Do Not Disturb, and set it set it to a schedule. Do Not Disturb every night at 9 p.m. So that way, no vibrating, no ringing. Put that thing in your bathroom. Number two, don't watch TV in your bed. I have a TV mounted to my wall in my bedroom when I have company over or whatever, and we wanna watch a movie in bed before we go to sleep on the weekends. On the weekends, not during the week, I, I can do that. But if you watch TV in your bed too often, especially during the week, you start associating your bed with activities, which is bad. Don't work in your bed either, with that being said. No computers in your bed. Don't sit there and type and do your, do your work in your bed. The more you associate your bed with only sleep, 
the better that's gonna be. With that being said, don't cheap out on your bed. I want to give a special shout out again to Lul who sent me a bed last year. It's a king size memory foam mattress and I sleep like a freaking baby on this thing. Don't cheap out on your bed. You can get a lot of really good mattresses. Look, we just joined us on Amazon now for about, you know, two, 300 bucks for a nice memory foam mattress. If you're having bad sleep on your mattress, find the money. There's no better investment that you can make. Okay, now that we've mastered the art of sleeping, here is the art of waking up. And this is a art. Like I said, it takes a lot of practice and experimenting with different, you know, little triggers to wake you up and figure out what works for you, what makes you accountable to waking up in the morning. And really, let's just get into it and we can try and find a routine that works for you. So my biggest advice for you and the biggest impact it had on me was setting myself for, up for success the night before. And that means a lot of different things. The main one being, I'm not gonna say her name because she's gonna answer, but my little smart device right here, it's made by a company that starts with an A and there's a little app on it that you can program a morning routine. You can program it to do smart functions in your house. See that light right here? Every morning at 5 a.m., the first thing that happens is that light turns on without me doing anything. Obviously, there's no sun at 5 a.m. A good light source to trigger that, you know, those chemicals in your brain. Dark releases melatonin, light releases cortisol. Not directly, but that's, that's the theory. That's what happens. So the light really helps trigger you to wake up. And I'm gonna share with you, actually, my entire Alexa routine right now. We're gonna go through my phone. Sorry. I'm not sure. She heard me. And I want you to promise not to judge me. I can be a little bit weird in the morning. Okay, so as you can see, weekdays, 5 a.m. wake up. And here's how it works, the actions. You can add stuff, you can move stuff around, you can tell her to play music, you can tell her to perform smart functions in the house. But for me, what a, a big one is, she talks to me. She just says whatever I tell her to say, and I know what my triggers are. I know what makes me feel accountable to myself, most importantly. I know that if I hear something that I wrote to myself in the morning, good morning, it's time to start your day, take a shot of fire water, you are Superman, don't you dare hit snooze. If I'm telling myself don't you dare hit snooze and I hit snooze, I'm gonna be pissed off, I'm gonna hate myself. Then it waits a minute, it lets that settle in, okay, now I'm up, hopefully I took my shot of fire water by then, which I'll talk about in a second. Bed lamp, turn on, that light turns on. And then it says, drink your pre-workout or fire water and go crush the gym. You're the man, start your day with positive momentum. Again, don't make fun of me, but this is super important. It gives me positive encouragement and tells me to start my day with positive momentum. And I know that that means if I hit snooze, that is bad momentum. That is a lose first thing in the morning. And there's no snooze button to this, by the way. So it's not even an option, but I can go through a pretty elaborate routine if I want to shut it down, which I have done once. Positive momentum, super important. If you start your day with this win, you're going to have a great rest of your day. After that, and Amazon actually has a great, it's called Morning Motivation on Amazon. And it's basically a, a series of speeches for you to listen to in the morning that really give you like a good motivation and encouragement to have an awesome freaking day. Anyways, that's my Alexa routine. So what is fire water and pre-workout? Because that's the first thing that I need to do in the morning. All of our brains are wired exactly the same. And if we do like wake up at 5 a.m. and we have a few minutes, our brain is gonna do everything that it possibly can to talk you out of waking up at that moment. Why is that and what can you do? It's gonna talk you out of it, it's gonna say little things like, oh, you can sleep for 30 more minutes, you're not late, you worked out yesterday, you don't need to go today. You can just get a, get a quicker workout. All of that is crap. Don't listen to those little words in your say, and the trick is, you have to do something before that starts, before your brain gives you a chance to decide whether you're gonna wake up or not. For me, that's over here. So on gym days, I leave a full thing of pre-workout right next to my bed. So when it's time to wake up, the first thing that I do, wake up, drink half of my pre-workout. Boom, I'm committed to getting up. There's nothing that anyone or any excuse can do to stop me. Cause I got caffeine pumped through my body. I just ingested, some would say poison. I'm gonna go use it. I'm going to the gym, I have no choice. On non-gym days, this stuff, let's see if it auto-focuses for you. It's called fire water and it is gold. I'm gonna read you some of the top ingredients. Apple cider vinegar, honey, lemons, onions, ginger, garlic. It's basically just a disgusting, healthy shot that helps you wake right up in the morning. If you take a shot of this, there's no chance you're getting back to bed. Okay, now I'm up. Now I'm gonna go about my morning routine. And if you're interested in learning about my morning routine, I hope you're subscribed because if there's not already a video out on my morning routine, you bet there's gonna be. So please hit subscribe, please like, please drop me a comment. If there's anything that you're gonna take away from this video, any questions that you have or anything that you love that you're gonna apply, please like, 
please comment. Everyone means the world to me. Really, I, I do this for you guys. Everything that I've learned, I've learned from other mentors and successful people out there. And I really just want to help share this knowledge because it's really transformed my life. And I think it's going to transform yours too. So this is Dr. J. Feldman signing off. Have an awesome morning at 5 a.m. Peace.